The Impact Admiral drug-coated balloon is designed to dilate a stenosed or occluded vessel and deliver a proven, safe, and effective anti-restenotic drug dose to the lesion. To begin the procedure, a guide wire is placed across the lesion. The Impact Admiral drug-coated balloon is advanced to the lesion. The length of the drug-coated balloon must extend one centimeter past the lesion at both the proximal and distal edges in order to fully cover the lesion. The Impact Admiral drug-coated balloon coating consists of the anti-proliferative drug paclitaxel and a hydrophilic excipient, urea. Urea facilitates the transfer of paclitaxel from the balloon surface to the vessel wall within a single inflation. The majority of the drug coating is protected from early washout as the balloon is coated in an inflated state, shielding most of the surface area in the folds of the balloon. During inflation, the coating comes into contact with blood. The hydrophilic urea quickly dissolves into the blood, leaving paclitaxel exposed to the vessel wall. The hydrophobic and lipophilic properties of paclitaxel have a higher affinity for tissue binding, thereby decreasing washout. Within the first 60 seconds of inflation, a therapeutic dose of paclitaxel is diffused through the vessel wall into the media and adventitia. Paclitaxel binds to microtubules, inhibiting DNA replication, leading to cell apoptosis. Smooth muscle cell proliferation is therefore inhibited and neo-intimal thickening is reduced, preserving the arterial lumen. Preclinical evidence suggests that Impact Admiral delivers paclitaxel concentrations in the vessel wall above the minimum threshold for biological activity for over 180 days. Drug-coated balloons are a breakthrough therapy for the treatment of peripheral arterial disease in the femoropopliteal artery and clinically more effective than current treatment options. The Impact Admiral drug-coated balloon has the highest reported primary patency rate and the lowest reported reintervention rate of available SFA technologies while minimizing the use of durable implants.